You're two years old and already taking selfies. Hi, Daddy camera. You want to get another book? Go get another one? Yay, book! Oh, yeah. colors! Find the ice skates. Good job! Find the blackberries. Yeah! What's that? Xylophone. It is a xylophone, that's right. We try to spend as much time as we can reading books every day. <laughs> oh, it's a big book. Just kidding. See the small book? You know, sometimes 30 minutes, sometimes it's an hour. <laughs> I'd say at least 30 minutes every day though. Hensley loves to read. Inlet Bay Campground at Horsetooth Reservoir, just outside of Fort Collins. Um, awesome spot. Really appreciate the Lee family letting us stay here. They had an open spot for a few days they weren't using, told us to go ahead and take it, and so we did. <laughs> We're so glad we did. Yeah. We've loved this area. Uh, pros and cons. Man, it was like 15 bucks a night plus the county fee, so I mean. The price is fine. I mean, there's, and you get electric too. So, I mean, totally worth it. There's, I didn't see any showers. There might be showers back where the boat dock is, but there's not really any showers in the campground. There are bathhouses um, for toilets and stuff. Tons of hiking and just mm -hmm. beautiful views here. And then Fort Collins isn't that far from here, the city. Anyway, so. so just, we're going to get the wheels and the bus going round and round. Uh, <laughs> definitely come by and check this place out if you're in, in the area, though. Yeah. That might be a con if you don't have a boat and you're sitting here watching everybody on their boat. But <laughs> Yeah, a little bit of torture there. <laughs> so at least get something where you can get on the water, a kayak or something. Yeah. <laughs> We had somebody ask us about the roads in different states, especially interstates, how big of a difference we see, like from Tennessee to Colorado. Um, honestly, I don't think, for the most part, it's at least the interstates and major roads, unless there's construction going on, um, they're not bad. I mean, they're all pretty good roads. I, and I, you can have construction anywhere. So I don't know that I, so far, the states we've been, um, I don't know that I would like avoid a state or avoid an area if it's an interstate. Now you get into some of the highways, some of the side roads, I mean, they can definitely vary a lot. This is our first time that we've tried to do a first come, first serve spot. We're heading to Cold Springs Campground. It's a national forest campground. Um, I'm a little nervous because things have been so crazy booked around here. So the thought of a first come, first serve kind of makes me really nervous and I don't know if we have a backup. Nathan, uh, Nathan has kept me out of the loop on that one. <laughs> I think on purpose. So, um, didn't you try to call too and nobody answered? Nobody. They, they said call a different number. I called the other number. Nobody answered. There's no machine. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so we did try calling ahead and nobody answered. So I guess we're just hoping that there's going to be a spot for us. I'm kind of messing with Marissa a little bit. I do know a couple of places that are possible backups as well. Of course, I know at least one of them is also a walk-up. But, but there are a couple of campgrounds in the area, so <laughs> we'll find some. We came up on our road that we're uh, not so sure about. We think at least a Golden Gate Canyon State Park, so we're thinking that campers have to go this way, so. Road we've been 
I didn't know that's what we were getting into. So we might have found out why Golden Canyon State Park was booked up because we keep thinking that it's late enough that kids are going back to school and stuff will start opening up, but we just passed a, a fairgrounds and it said that the county fair is in, so, and it's really close to that state park. So I'm hoping that that doesn't factor in on this national forest as well. Well, the National Forest, the difference is this is supposed to be first come, first serve, so I'm hoping unless people got here during the week early to get to this National Forest, I hope we'll be okay, <laughs> is the, the plan. Because if we drove all the way up here, and we've got to drive back out with nowhere to stay, it's not going to be cool. That's the worst part of these BLM, the National Forest, all these places where you can't make reservations. You just never know. Mm-hmm. What do you got? Did you find you a stick? Let's go play. We got us a spot. We're setting up. Hensley is a. Uh, <laughs> already found her a stick. The dump truck goes beep, 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 beep. You want to see her favorite? The steamroller goes chuck, 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 chuck. Moosh, 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 moosh. Big camera. That's the big camera. Did you just take a picture? You're two years old and already taking selfies. Yeah, One thing that's for certain is if it's a, if it rains, we've got something for Hensley to do. Right, Hensley? Whoa, you Hensley. You just, you're a professional puddle jumper. Her mom's gonna kill me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I do like this area we're in. It um, I feel pretty confident we took the back way in. I'm gonna have to check the map. <laughs> it's private. It's I don't know, 18 bucks a night. The only downside is it's right next to a highway, which kind of kills the mood just a little bit. You ready? Ew. <laughs> it's so... Puddles are gone. Puddles are gone. They're all gone. Well, we got a spot. So, I knew what I was doing. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of exciting. That's our first time trying to yeah. first come, first serve. I don't know. That's really spontaneous for us. It's really hard to not. It was actually hard for us to get away from like planning out the entire trip. Like, so our first route with the RV, I planned every single stop where we'd be every single day for like whatever it was, a two month route or something like that. But we were slowly getting there. Um, this is a big change from that. I mean, I think that's the thing about RVing. You can plan out your whole trip. You can just, you can wing it too. And I think as long as it's off season and during the week, you're going to be okay most of the time. Um, it's just weekends, you'll run into trouble, um, holidays, and then peak season for sure. I think that's the difference when we first started and where we're at now. That was good because we had reservations all the time, but then we weren't quite done in an area or we needed more time and I don't know. So being a little spontaneous <laughs> kind of makes it interesting at times, but um, it seems to work out for us okay. Probably good to have a balance just depending on it's just, it, it's taken us time to realize the times that you don't want to be spontaneous. That's, to, uh, to me, that's the trick. Mm -hmm. Like, understanding those times where, hey, if I try to wing it, I, I may get in some trouble here. <laughs> we move around a lot, but that's because we want to move around a lot. We don't have to do that. We could, mm -hmm. we could stay in one place for a month or two if we wanted to, but um, we, like, we like the new sights and sounds. I guess if getting in certain areas like there are some high demand areas yeah, and we probably need to look into that a little bit more uh -huh. and just make sure that um 
we can even get near it, you know, because if staying in a certain national park or doing a, you know, a certain area is super important to you, then maybe you do need to look ahead for that or events or something. Hensley has been <laughs> super needy today. To you inside. you win the super needy award today, Hensley. <laughs> We're gonna call it a night, and uh, we'll catch you guys later. <laughs>